Hello everyone. In this exercise, I'm going to take this straight caterpillar, pop a wheelie, and slide it all the way up to 2,000 meters per second in order to outrun my buddy behind me who's in an MISC Razor. Now if you're following along at home, start by flying in a straight line with your cruise control on. Make sure your G-safe and speed limiter are turned off. We're not going to need those here. When you're ready, turn on decouple mode and lift the nose up about 45 degrees. All right. Starting maneuver. Once you're comfortable with your angle, turn off decouple mode and immediately turn your cruise control back on and get those main engines firing. If you got your angle right, you'll already start to see your speed climb. About a thousand? Yep. Now you need to maintain a slow and steady upward pitch. Too low and the main engines will kick off and you'll slow down. <clears throat> Just pull the nose up a little more and they'll kick back on. But if you pull the nose back too far, you'll stop accelerating and also eventually slow down, so you just gotta find that sweet spot and keep it there. 1300, holding that sweet spot's a little difficult. All right, I'm at max. 1350. Fourteen hundred. With a little bit of patience, you'll start making progress. Yeah, it's sixteen. You're ten k away now. It's it's slow going, but I think I can do it. the maneuvering thrusters start giving you problems at higher speeds, just turn those off. You don't really need them at this point. Nineteen ninety-five. It's a good year. That's it. Two thousand and now the speedo's spazzing. Alright. That's it. Now my buddy and I are gonna exchange places. So as he's getting lost finding the command module, as I explained to him the complicated flight mechanics and physics involved in executing such a complex and precarious maneuver, let's review some notes. This slide isn't limited to the Caterpillar. I've successfully performed it in the Aegis Sabre as well as the Misk Razor. So go on and get your favorite ship and try it out. All you're doing is holding a specific angle to your direction of travel. Now the fly-by-wire system is trying to get that to match where you're pointing there's a point where it switches from main engines to maneuvering thrusters. If you can keep it just above that point and hold that sweet spot, you can keep that slide going into some ludicrous speeds. Also, you don't need to use your afterburners. To maintain these speeds, you have to turn the engines off and float through space like a piece of debris. As I'm in a Drake ship, that's probably not too far away from the truth. And finally, decoupled mode doesn't work at these speeds, so don't bother using it. It'll just slow you down to your designated max speed. And that's it. We'll end this video with my buddy giving this a go for the first time. Hey man, if you can go faster than this, make it to like 1415, I'll be happy. Alright. Bug testing. Yeah! <laughs> right about at your max speed at 1030. No, I'm at about 1300 is the max for this. Oh, that's right, yeah. God damn, I keep overshooting you. It's alright, I'm at 1100, so we'll be there soon. Fourteen hundred and keep going. Okay, no, no, it's dropping. 
You gotta, it, when it starts to drop, pull up more. No, it's dropping too fast. I lost it. All right, I broke 1300 again, so let's see if we can keep going here. There you go, you're starting to pull away again. Come back here, you caterpillar. <laughs> starting to slow down again. I can't. I can't fight 1400, and it it flips over, and I can't f keep it. Uh... Sorry, it takes a little practice, but I think you got the point. So that's good. That works. Yeah, it's pretty nutty, right? Uh, it is crazy. Caterpillar outrunning a racing ship.